Okay, hi everyone, welcome to the Street Manager training video. We are here in a promoter login and we're going to um, look at the FPN journey from the promoter side. Okay, so fingers crossed for this one, uh, Kat. Uh, let's see how we get on. Um, if we go in as a uh, promoter into our fixed penalty notices list, lovely old job so um we can see here um what our issue dates are so um let's focus on the one that we just made um off camera um and see what we can do with it so let's go into that fpn yeah give it a click okay so here's my fpn i could look at the photo evidence if there was one attached just click on the link uh, I can see what they're saying uh, in the offence details, uh, breach of permit conditions, right, okay. Um, so that if we scroll down some more, I am happy with this one, Kat. That seems uh, fair dues to me. Um, if you accept, well, if you go to dispute, first of all, don't press anything, but go to dispute. Mm -hmm. You can see the dispute, reason for dispute isn't optional. You have to say something. You can't just dispute an FPN without any reason. So that's a compulsory field. Um, but if you um, accept this one, oh, um, you, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, you could write in here. That you've already paid it for all for all I know, you know, but but you know, just just go ahead, just accept that FPN. Okay, and then I believe if you scroll down some more, oh, this is what I wanted to show people. So um, this is a relatively new addition to Street Manager. We've got all this um, important information. So um, I worked with the industry to um, produce this, brackets, somebody wrote it for me, essentially. Uh, thanks for that. And um, we've added this into Street Manager, and this is kind of like your, your legal information that appears on each um, FPN. Um, Kat, while we're doing this video, could you um, show people how to do it as a... Um, a PDF because that's something that comes up quite often. Yeah, absolutely. If we enshrine that in a video. Um, so I've got a Mac and I'm here in Google Chrome. So I'm just going to go right click uh, and I'm going to use this print option here. <clears throat> that brings so up... all browsers have a have a print option, obviously. Yeah, it might look slightly different on a different browser, um, but it definitely will yeah. be there. Uh, and but I there'll always got... be a, um, a, a a view as PDF, save as PDF, print as PDF type button. Yep. Lovely. Uh, and so that's what this page looks like in a print view. And then you can save that as a PDF. Um, and then that is totally fine to be used in any um, instance where somebody wanted a printed um, record of a PDF. Yeah, and it's got all of that... Um important information there at the bottom on the second page which is uh, quite nice as well I think yeah. um, so if we in this same video cat go back into our HA account well, there's a few more um, options for us now that the um, uh, promoter has acknowledged it actually while you're doing that I should say that none of the options that the HA get is dependent on the promoter doing anything. So if the promoter chooses not to use that function to manage their workflow of accepting and um, disputing FPNs, if you go into fixed penalty notices now, Cal, if you go into, um, well, to prove my point, go into that uh, issued um, FPN. Yeah, scroll down. And you'll see we've got options here. Mark FPN as paid. So let's do that in this one. Uh, yes. Yeah, same. So, so, that, so that's marked as paid now. But if you go back to our list of um, uh, FPNs, Kat. Lovely. 
um, and then choose choose one that's just issued, not um, accepted. If you scroll down, you'll see that um, you've got two options there. So you can mark FPN as paid. You're not, you're not being stopped from doing that just because the promoter hasn't done anything with it. And at this point, because they've not accepted it, you can um, you can withdraw it. So if you don't don't press it, um, I know what you're like. But if you click on um, withdraw, you can see there. That's how you would withdraw an FPN. Somebody else might be just about to do something with this. Um, frighteningly, I can see it's got almost the exact same date and time as we were issuing one. So they're they're also in their system creating FPNs. Um, so we will leave them to this FPN. But uh, you can see that in this video we have. Um, shown you how to accept or dispute an FPN. We have um, marked one as paid. You can see how you can uh, withdraw an FPN. And we've gone through uh, printing and that um, important information. So hopefully that's quite a useful um, bit of guidance on FPNs, Kathy.